Hi guys, I'm back. In this video, we're going to talk about the vitamin that can actually help you lose weight. Can you guess what it is? Well, you're probably looking over there and you're seeing what it is, but it's vitamin D. Did you realize there's over 140 clinical trials on the relationship between vitamin D and obesity? There is a ton of research related to this topic. So let's talk about why vitamin D could help you lose weight. Now, as a side note, I remember this patient who used to come into my office when I had my office. Um, he had this gut, this huge belly, and he'd go to Florida for a two-week vacation, and he would come back. And I swear, it was literally flat. And at the time, I didn't know it was the vitamin D, but it was the vitamin D from the sun because you'd get all the sun and his stomach would just shrink. Now, this next point is very interesting. Vitamin D deficiency occurs when someone becomes obese. It occurs routinely in diabetics, when you have insulin resistance, when you're under stress, you're usually deficient in vitamin D. Actually, when you get certain vitamins, and I'm talking specifically the flu, you're usually always deficient in vitamin D. When you have asthma, you're usually deficient in vitamin D. High blood pressure, you usually have a vitamin D deficiency. Autoimmune conditions and inflammation, you have a situation where you don't have enough vitamin D. Now, what's interesting, if you look at all these conditions, what will be the common thread? Well, right here, insulin resistance, which is really created by having too much insulin, too much insulin in type 2 diabetes, definitely in obesity or a stubborn metabolism. High insulin will cause high blood pressure. It will cause inflammation. And also when you're under stress and you raise cortisol, that can then lead to high levels of insulin which can then lead to insulin resistance and diabetes. When you take vitamin D, you actually lower stress, you decrease insulin, you decrease inflammation, especially back pain, you decrease estrogen, you increase the good bacteria, and I'm gonna put a lot of references down below so you can check this out, and also you decrease metabolic syndrome, which is behind this here, this here, and this right here. So the ideal scene is to get a lot of sun, but if it's winter, take vitamin D. I would recommend routinely taking 20,000 IUs. And if you're actually taking vitamin D, make sure you take K2 with that. Guys, thanks for watching. And definitely check out the additional videos I have on this page with vitamin D and also vitamin K2.